<laughs> Let's get into it. So as per normal, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is a VOD taken straight from my stream, which I'll cut out all the boring bits. So we'll start from the most, the garbage at the bottom and go all the way to the top and look at the cool ultra rays and stuff last. So starting us off, we have Zen Maelstrom. Tribute one wind-up monster with 1,500 or more attack. Special summon one wind-up monster from your hand, then you can special summon one wind-up monster from your deck with the same attack as the monster special summon by this effect. Now, these, the, the, trap cards like this are just too slow. It's, 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 there's going to be faster ways to play the game than this card, I imagine. It doesn't seem too bad of a card, it's just tribute one, special summon two, so... Yeah, I just don't think we're going to be using this. If it's special summon two from deck, I could see it possibly being used, but you'd have to have, like, a wind-up monster in hand, another wind-up monster in hand, and then this trap card to guarantee it actually working in the first place. At that point, you might as well just use like a special summoning wind-up and just had the other one, so you already had the two wind-ups. There's no need for this. Yeah, you, there's no there's no reason for this. You just already have two wind-ups in hand, so yeah, nah. Heraldi change. When opponent's monster declares an attack, special summon one heraldic beast monster from your hand, then end the battle phase. Well, that just sounds really annoying. It's not likely that people are going to be using this, though. Like, you wouldn't use this over just, like, a Fiendish Chain or something. Just proper disruption. There's a reason, like, Wall of D has fallen hell out of popularity. It's because cards like this that you have to swing into just don't really exist anymore. We don't really use Battle Traps that often because we have so much back row removal and just removal in general that we just don't use this kind of stuff. So I don't think we'll use this. Uh, if it's searchable, like, if... Herald, the Heraldic Beast can search for a trap card, maybe you'd use it. Other than that, I'm pretty sure you prefer like a Floodgate Trap or something. Heraldy Record. When an effect of your opponent's Exceeds monster is activated by attaching its own Exceeds material, and negate the activation if you do destroy it. No, we're not going to use that. There's, there's, it's just like... Unless for some reason the entire game becomes only Exceeds monsters, you just wouldn't run this. And that's, that's never going to happen. There's no way every single player on the ladder will run Exceeds monsters, so you're just never gonna run this card. You just won't. Even if they, even if every single player did, would you still not run this card? There's still a good chance you just wouldn't run it. <laughs> There's still just a good chance you just wouldn't use this. You just run your own negate, run negates of your own, you know, like generic negates of your own. You just wouldn't use this. This is this is a bad card. There's no way. Although to be fair, it is a heraldy card, so maybe it's searchable. If it's searchable, maybe you'll use it. So, Zen male function. Target one wind-up monster in your graveyard, special summon in face-up defense position. Its effects are negated and it cannot be attributed or used as synchro material monster. I don't like cards that, unless we have like some way to specifically send things to the grave for this card to special summon, you just don't use these kind of things. A kind of similar thing you can compare it to is like the Karakuri Gamma Royal, where we only use one copy because it's searchable. If it wasn't searchable, no one would use it. It's the same kind of shit. You just don't use these kinds of cards unless they're specifically searchable or can be used as part of like a combo or whatever. As just a generic, I just want to special summon this card back, it's too slow. This is not how, this is not how um... Yeah, Jewel doesn't really work like this. We want to have a best chance possible of having your opening play, rather than having like these weird follow-up cards kind of stuff. Because this is the kind of thing you'd use if like, you exceed someone, detach a material, special summon back the material, that kind of thing. We don't really do that, we prefer to, with the four cards we get in opening, have a good setup for that first exceeds monster anyway. You know, or just have like proper back row instead of this. So I don't think you'll use cards like this, unless of course we have it being searchable, or... yeah. Yeah, it's, extenders are only good if you have revival starters, it's exactly right. You just don't... unless we have... unless the deck is literally just like a one card combo and you can afford to run stuff like this, you just won't run it. And even then, would you run this over Fiendish Chain? It's... it's... doubtable. You know? Oh, now we're on to the best part of the review. Let's go! Armoured Rat. The fur on this monster. This fair on this monster rat is tough enough to repel swords. Oh. Don't we already have a monster rat? I'm pretty sure we already have a monster rat. <laughs> Alright, I think Beaver Warrior is a bit more armoured than this fella. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Beaver. If anyone that hasn't actually noticed this, is Beaver Warrior doesn't actually have a beaver tail, he has a rat tail. Beaver Warrior is actually a rat. <laughs> For those that haven't noticed before. So we already have an armored rat, and I don't know what the fuck this thing is, but looks like an armadillo or some shit. A solid, just a shitter beaver warrior, to be honest. Not even, not even worth my time. Actually, not even worth my time. 
Queen Bird. This monster attacks enemies using its huge beak. Oh, does it now? Not sure why his head's upside down. And his neck does not look like it's in a healthy position. <laughs> his neck looks kind of busted. Finally, Queen Bird. Oh yes, we were waiting so long for this card. It's that it's that rank five starter wind monster we've been looking for for so long. Bald eagle. If that is a bald eagle, I don't. I, I, okay, I don't live in America, but as far as I know, bald eagles are not supposed to look like that. That is one sick looking bald eagle. <laughs> <laughs> not kind of bald eagles you've been around, buddy, but that is not a bald eagle. Heretic Beast Amphis Bainer? You can discard one other Heretic Beast monster, spell summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can discard one Heretic Beast monster, this card gains 800 attack until the end of the turn. Alright, so main issue with this is that if you wanted to do like an Xyz play, unless you had a specific way to special summon the monster you're discarding, you'd have to have three monsters in your opening hand for this to work. This is going first, that is, with four cards. So, this card isn't all that great unless the monster you're sending to the grave has some specific synergy with being sent to the grave or being able to test for someone from the grave because you can't exceed someone with that. And I assume this is an exceeds archetype, I assume. Like, if you have one of these cards for a uh, Heretic Beast, maybe it'd be more useful then because then you have a spell card that can bring back the one you discard. So, we'll see. This, this card is solely dependent on what the rest of the art type's like. This card, it's hard to rate by itself. It's just a special summonable Heretic Beast. The rest of its effect doesn't matter, so. You can banish this card from your graveyard to target one psychic type Xyz monster in your graveyard special summoner. Its effects are negated. You can use the fate to maybe see to come once per turn. This card honestly doesn't seem that bad. Because like if you just have these two and just an exceed some you exceed some of these two, right? And you just send this card to the graveyard as material or whatever for um you detach it. Then if your monster dies, you can just bring it back. Obviously though, when you bring back an Xyz monster, it won't have its effects. Because it doesn't have or have it might have some effects, but it won't have its detach effects, because it won't have any materials. But it's kind of cool that if you just use this card, you just have a way to bring back like a big monster okay, if they're particularly big. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, it's, it's negated anyway. You're right. It's, it's specs are negated anyway. I don't even know what I'm saying. Specs are negated anyway. So you just special summoning back a beat stick. I mean, sure. Might be cool. I'd like to see, um... It really just depends on how strong the other ones are, whether or not you want to run this. Or if your combo's already good enough. Howardic Beast Twin-Headed Eagle. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one face up Xyz monster you control with no Xyz materials, and two Heretic Beast monsters in your graveyard. Attach those monsters from the graveyard to the face up Xyz monster as Xyz materials. Okay, so another card that's useful from graveyard. I'm not too excited about this card because it seems like you have to have a lot of materials. One, you have to have a lot of materials in the grave. So you have to have two separate ones, two monsters in the grave. And two, generally, they like your monsters come with materials anyway, so this is only useful if you run out of materials. And if you already use like your Xyz monsters materials already, you should be in a state where you're winning. So this is kind of like a win more kind of thing, I guess. If they use both their materials in the first turn, maybe you'd use this because you would get two extra materials in the grave for it or whatever. Heretic Beast Eel. If you control two or more Heretic Beast monsters, you can spell summon this card from your hand. Two or more. So this is one of those cards you'd use if the deck has an extremely, extremely consistent opener. Like you can just summon two monsters literally every time. And then you just summon this card as your third one. But it's only usable if, of course, y you can do that. Like, if your deck can't consistently get out two monsters, why the hell would you use a monster that can only summon itself when you've got two on the board? So, if there is a consistent way of doing it, then you just use this card, like, 100% if you want to go into these, like, three-cost Xyz monsters. There's a good chance this will be usable. It just depends on if the rest of the deck is uh, easily getting out to. Also, if there's a searcher, because having this card in your opening hand and you only have one other monster would be kind of garbage. Unless, of course, you can search for it and just there's your third one or whatever. Heretic Beast Burner's Falcon. When this card is summoned, you can make all face up level 5 or higher monsters you currently control become level 4. I have no idea the use of this. Like, zero idea the use of it. I assume there must be, like, maybe there's a <laughs> card later on that's level 5 or something that you need this for. I can't rate this card at all until I've seen the rest of them, because, like, as far as I can see, the current Heretic Beasts don't even need this card. So, I think I have to wait till see later on. Alright. A wall of text. Number 8. Heretic King Genome Heritage. Once per turn, you can target one face-up Xyz monster your opponent controls. This card's name and original attack becomes that monster's name and current attack, 
and this card's effect becomes that monster's original effect, and then though, and then that monster's attack becomes zero and its effects are negated. These changes lost in phase. So this is something you'll definitely use in your Heretic Beast deck, because it's a nice counter card. If you have the space for it, that is. It's just if you come across an Xyz deck, you can just make one of their monsters zero attack, make negate its effects, and steal its effects. So you just use this card, especially if there's better Xyz monsters coming to the game. This will just be a really good card. Like right now you wouldn't use this card because there's no Xyz decks in the game, but I'm pretty sure after this box is released then he will be playing Xyz again, so you might as well try this card out. You can use this like it's just like a partially OTK kind of card too, just making their attack zero is nasty enough. But it's not even, it doesn't even like detach a material to use its effect, right? It literally just uses it. Number 69. Nice. When this card is special summoned, negate the effects of all other face-up Xyz monsters currently on the field. You can target one other face-up Xyz monster on the field until the end phase, this card's name and effects become the same as that monster. Uh, okay, you can use these effects once per turn. Okay, so this is just like the generic version of this card. This card I think is stronger, but this one's generic, so you can use it anywhere. So it's a really nice anti-exceed card. Question is, would you use this card? I think you would use this card. It depends if you have a deck that can get out three level fours for starters, but would you use it over the, um, yeah, this guy. This guy's already like our small counter exceed we have. I think you would use it over this, but I guess it just depends on if you can get four level fours out. Because four level fours is a pretty big commitment. But at least this thing has like a stat line, it's not completely terrible. Cool, so I guess you would use this if it's like a deck that can easily get out three level fours and it's a very heavy Xyz meta, sure. Just in a gate, still an effect, why not? Gear Gear Giga Giant XG. I have this card IRL by the way. During either player's battle step, while an attacking attack involving your machine type monster is occurring, you attach one Xyz material from this card and negate the effects of all face up cards your opponent currently controls. So that's cards by the way, so it's not just negating a monster effects, you can negate any kind of like field spells or whatever. Also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects, so similar to Ancient Gear kind of stuff. Uh, these effects last until the end of the damage step. It's a sick ass card though, it's just like you summon this big boss monster, negate a bunch of effects, and you can just swing without having to worry. It's a cool ass card. It does take 3 level 3 monsters, but it's kind of like Gear Gear's like boss monster. By the way, this is a very important thing to note with this card. This card, I'm pretty sure, is can chain to your opponent's effects. Because normally you can chain stuff to specifically this card's effect, right? So you'd activate this effect, you discard your detaching material, then people would chain their effects to this card in particular. But I'm pretty certain this card can actually just chain to the card you're chaining. <laughs> Either way, let's move on. This card's sick, it's just the Gear Gear boss monster, you'll probably see it in Gear Gear guaranteed. It's just, it's just cool. It also has the um, little mini floating effect, I guess, when it's destroyed as well, which makes it even better. Wind Up Factory. Once per turn, if an effect of a wind-up monster is activated, except during the damage step, you can add one level four lower wind-up monster from your deck to your hand. I mean, it's a good, it's a, it's a searcher. Searchers are always good. It just depends on if there's like a wind-up that can just special summon itself or something. If you have another wind-up on board, because then you just use this card, right? Okay, I like this. I like this card. This, this could be really good. Obviously, it depends on the rest of the wind-ups. But if you have like a specific wind-up that just special summons, if you have a wind-up on board already, you just summon a wind-up, use its effect, get that. There's your exceed. It also depends on the consistency of wind-ups as they are if you need a searcher like this. Or if there's a better searcher, who knows. Heraldi Reborn. Target one Heraldic Beast Monster in your graveyard to special summon it. Alright, so very similar to um, this card, same kind of um, same kind of thoughts. I think the main difference is we've noticed that we have stuff like this guy that discards one in particular, so you can discard using this guy and then special summon it back with this. Okay, but very, very similar thoughts to this card, it's just do we use this card? Probably not, because we're too busy trying to get a consistent combo at the start. But if we already have a super consistent combo, then you can have these like extender cards. So extenders are only useful if you already have a really good opening in the first place. So historically, we don't really use them unless they're searchable. Like I said earlier with the Karakuri card, we don't use the Karakuri Revive card. We only use it because it's specifically searchable. Otherwise, you just don't use these like spell card revive one monster kind of things. It's, it's not really how Duel Links works. Augmented Heraldy. Psychic type you see is most in the field cannot be targeted by spell or trap effects. That's quite useful in current meta because we're like all currently targeting stuff. Other than Floodgate Trap Hole, then you just change target, uh, the tribute stuff's target, Ballista Squad, I, I don't know, all those Rageki Break, all those stuff that's all targeted. We're in a very heavy target back row meta. Since we no longer really use um, Wall of D, we no longer use um, <laughs> Drowning Mirror Force, you know, it's all targeted stuff. Other than Floodgate Trapper, obviously. 
But obviously, if, some, if a deck like this became super popular anyway, then you just swapped using non-target removal stuff. Yeah, Karma Cut, it's, that's kind of already a good effect as it is. Once per turn, you can discard one Heretic Beast monster, add one Heretic Spell Trap card from your deck to your hand. Okay, so that makes these cards instantly more useful. It has a search. Specifically, this card can discard a Heretic Beast monster, add this card to hand, this card can then be used to special summon that thing back, right? You cannot normal summon a special summon monsters during the turn you activate this effect, except select like, OCs, monsters, and Heretic Beast monsters, yeah. So this card all radically combos super well with this, so take back everything I said about this card, it's searchable and it combos with this. Literally you discard a Heretic Beast, use this card to bring it back. This card actually makes me quite excited for the Heretic Beast, that's actually really kind of sick. Advanced Herati Art, so another card you can search for. Target two Herati Beast monsters in your graveyard, special summon both those targets. Immediately after this card resolves, exceed summon one exceeds monster using those two monsters. I like it, I like it. Good chance we'll use it. It is a one-off, so you can easily search it if you wanted to use it as a one-off. If it's part of the... If for some reason the deck is just insane with how it combos off, and you always end with two in the grave anyway, then you can just use it as like a three-off, but I don't think we're going to end like that. It's probably more likely we're going to use three of this and have like one-offs of both this card and this card, searchable when you need them, kind of thing. Gear Gear Change. Target two or more Gear Gear monsters with three names in your graveyard, special summon them. Maybe love this card resolves, exceed summon, ex one exceeds monsters using all the summoned monsters, but no other monsters' materials. Okay, so it's similar to this, only this is a quick play. So I was gonna, I was gonna write this card off, but then I saw it was a quick play, and I'm thinking, hmm, quick play, huh? That means if you're a, you can have this set, your opponent kills your monster, you can res your monster. And you can use this as a comeback card. You can also use this if like... Because currently it's say something like Blister Squad, right? Normally you go to the battle phase, that's when your opponent waits to the Blister Squad. Unless of course you have an already insane um, monster effect from the Giga Gear. But they'll wait to the battle phase, they'll activate it, you pop your monster. You'll then activate this, bring it back, you seed, your monster's back again. So it's supposed to be okay, but I'm not sure like... It just depends on the rest of the deck, how strong the rest of the deck is. Whether or not you use something like this. Or if like you prefer to use this over obviously generic background. Like would you prefer to use this over a fiendish chain or something, you know? Wind up rabbit. Quick effect. You can target one wind up monster to control, banish it till your next standby phase. This effect can only be used once per turn once card's face up on the field. I thought it's like a hand trap or something. No, no, this card's just garbage. Why would you use this? You can't even use this on like your exceed monsters because you'd banish them and they'd use, lose their materials so it's like why would you use this? Unless you want to empty your own board for some reason or the windups have an effect when banished or something. Dodging stuff? Yeah but why would, like if you use this to dodge something right, you're probably going to be dodging like using the monster you want to exceed with and it doesn't come back until the end phase. Or the next standby phase, so like it doesn't even come back so you can't even exceed with the monster you're trying to protect with it. Like, it's not like when you dodge with a mass change and you get a big boss monster that comes out of it, you're dodging with a card that then doesn't leave you with anything. And I don't see- as it is without any, like, specific things to go with it, as just on its own, it seems really bad. But if it combos with something, that'd be kinda sick, so. Wind up Snail. During your main phase, you can tie one set card in the field, return that target to hand. This effect can be used once while this card is face up on the field. Snail's a good back removal card. But it's level 2 though, level 2 is kind of a weird level. So you have to go with like a wind up that can change its level to be super useful I think. Unless unless this is like summonable from deck or so, I, I don't know, I can't think of like a real reason you'd want to use this, purely because level 2 just seems so bad. You have to combo with specific wind ups that change level, so unless it's like none of those you just won't use this card, because there's no actual level 2s right. Gear Gear Armor. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flipped face up, you can add one gear monster from your deck to your hand, except gear your armor. I don't like this card too much. It's just too slow. Game is a uh, game is not that slow, so not liking this card at all. This card's a hard. Nah, I don't think you're gonna use it. Unlikely anyway. Use it in higher build character area to turn it face up. I guess. I guess be an interesting way to do it. Maybe. Yeah, as it, as it stands though, just normal gear gear. Probably not gonna use it. I doubt it. Heratic Beast Basilisk. After damage calculation, destroy any monster that battles this card. After damage calculation, so it would already be destroyed. We already have a ton of cards to do this, right? Like a ton of cards. It's just another one to add to the massive collection of cards we already have that do this kind of effect. Do you worry it's better? Yeah, so stuff like that. So we're not we're not gonna use the like we're not gonna use this purely because you can look at all the other ones we have. Someone in chat just mentioned one of the more popular ones, probably the better version, because it actually banishes. 
Yeah. DD Warrior Lady. I've damaged case in this battles an opponent's monster, you banish that monster, also banish this card. Same shit. But it is a heretic beast, so maybe it's a, it could be searchable or something, I don't know. Like obviously you can use this with like all your heretic beast XC summons anyway, so you could probably use this in the deck as a one-of or something if it's searchable, or just use it because you already have special summon all monsters and you just want to have something you could just use as a remover whatever you like. So maybe it'll be usable. Maybe. Just depends on how the rest of the Hattie Beast works. If like you, because you wouldn't use this card, for example, if one there's like zero searches, so you can't search it for, as a one-off, so you can't really use it as like that one-off searcher card. And two, if the rest of the deck just isn't consistent enough on special summoning on its own, and you're just running a card that doesn't help with that in the first place, doesn't help with your main combo. You only use these cards if you have the luxury of using them, you know. Hattie Beast, Ebericon Way, <laughs> the fuck. If this card is in the graveyard, you can banish another Heretic Beast Abracon from your graveyard to target one Heretic Monster in your graveyard, add that target to your hand. Am I reading that right? Yes, I have another copy of itself? Because that's really bad, right? This card has to have another copy of itself in the grave to use it. If there's a search for it, then maybe? But only if there's a search, because you, you can't just rely on having two of these in your opening hand. Yeah, there's a search maybe. Or there's a card that can specifically send this to the grave from deck or whatever. You have to have three in grave to get one back though. How likely is that with Exceed? Because Exceed you have to have a bunch stuck underneath the card's materials. So you have to get three in grave. None of them, I, I don't know. Seems kind of rough. Seems kind of rough. Wind up character Zenmati. Apparently this is banned in TCG. Once per turn you can attach one Exceed material from this card. Special summon one wind up monster from your hand or deck. Or deck. Oh, okay. When a face of wind monster on the field is destroyed into your graveyard, it's doing the damage step. You can attach one of these material from this card, target that monster, return that target to hand. Summon this, use effect, summon wind up rat, use rat to summon back one from grave, make another exceed. Is that the combo? So during your main phase, you can type one wind monster in your graveyard, change this face up card to type of monster you control to the face up defense position, it's better to summon that target in face up defense position. So you detach the material from this to search for rat. Rat then brings back the card. You put it in the grave, is that how that works? So you get another exceed? Ah, uh, okay, so this card specifically for a rat is just double exceed. Obviously though, wind-ups have to have a good uh, rank 3 to go with it though, otherwise there's no real point in the whole whole venture. You just get out two rank 3s, one with 1500 attack. It's a cool little combo though, I assume it will be used as a combo anyway. Wind-up Arsenal Zenmahmahai, or something. Once per turn, attach one exceed material from this card to target two set cards on the field, destroy them. That's that's good. It's rank five though. Cyber Dragon. Hell yeah. Oh, it's generic. You're right. It is generic. Oh, it's kind of sick. Generic background wheel for any deck that can spam level fives. For example, Thunder Dragon could use this. Exciting card. The fact that it's generic makes it like infinitely better because you just have a deck that can run rank fives. You just use this card. It's just generic removal. Not sure how useful it's going to be in specifically wind-ups though, because like I said, you have to have a card that changes level to use it. Most likely, I don't see any wind-ups that are level 5 currently. They're all level 4s and 3s, so... In specific wind-ups, doesn't seem all that useful without a level change. But in terms of just generic, it's Pog. You just target stuff and remove it. Does it have to be two set cards or can it just be one? Has to be two. That's actually a pretty important point actually. This does have to be two cards on the field, right? It doesn't say up to. So there's not two set cards, you can't pop them. Another generic, two level fours. Now I'm pretty sure this card's good because I'm pretty sure I own it <laughs> IRL. And if I own it IRL, I like specifically bought it for a deck at some point. Once per turn, once per chain during either player's turn, if two or more monsters with the same name are on the field, Cyber Dragon, you can attach one season material from this card. Choose one monster among those with the same name and destroy all other monsters with that name. Okay. While this card is face up on the field, your opponent cannot summon monsters with the same name as any of the monsters chosen for this card's effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send two Radic Beast monsters from your deck to the graveyard. That's a fucking mouthful. So you have to have two monsters with the same name on the board for this card to be useful. It pops one of them, and they can't summon monsters with the same name. But the one they've got on the board will stay on there, the one you initially target, I believe. So it's, it's like a very, very situational card. Like if Cyber Dragon was super popular, you just use this instantly. She's like, hey, no more Cyber Dragons for you, little mayo. <laughs> that kind of thing would be kind of amusing. 
Yeah, you can use it on Dark Magician. They can do no more Dark Magicianing. Blue Eyes. Anything that has like a specifically one monster they need to summon, this card's are really good against. Also decks with their cards change their names to equal like Dark Magician for example, or Cyber Dragon, they change their names. So, likely of you using this card that often? Probably not. It's not something I think I'd use in my decks on ladder. But in like a side deck kind of environment, maybe? If something popular popped up like Dark Magician or Cyber Dragon? But as it is, I don't think you'd use it. It's not like something that's all that popular. I can't think of like many decks that just have cards of the same name that are actively being summoned, you know? Exceeds Veil. Face up Exceeds monsters with Exceeds material cannot be targeted by card effects. Will we use this? Probably not. Because the idea, right, is you use this on turn... I guess you have to, you have to activate this instantly. Like, as soon as your opponent's draw phase, you have to activate this instantly. Because you can't activate this in response to your opponent's stuff, right? Like, if your opponent targets your monster and you activate this, your, your monster's still targeted, it'll still be removed. So you have to use this, like, before your opponent does the targeting. And if you do it before your opponent does the targeting, your opponent can chain to it. It's, it's, it seems very similar to... Yeah, target one monster you have on the field until the end of this turn, that title is season attack, but it cannot be tired or destroyed by card effects. We don't use this. We use Dress instead, or we use Lance instead. So the chance of us using this card if we don't use that card or we're more interested in Lance is means we'd probably be more interested in Lance for this card as well, especially considering this is a slow card, so it's like a trap card as opposed to just quick play Lance. So if we don't use Dress, I don't think we'd use this. I don't see, I just don't see it. There's no way. We have Gear, Gear, Gear. Special summon two gear monsters from your deck and increase the levels by, oh, increase the levels by one? Boys, we got a way to summon the rank 5 wind up monster. All gear gears level 3? Oh, well, shit. <laughs> Actually, I was only gear Gianos. Oh, so you can't summon the, um... You can't summon the, these guys, you can only summon these little boys. There's probably some dumb combos you can do with this trap card. The issue is that it's obviously a trap card, so... Man, this card um combos super well with... The quick play spell. Not really sure though, it seems like it does seem very slow. I have been super excited with Gear Gear so far, not gonna lie. Interesting. I think we'll do we'll move on from this card. I don't think it's, it's too hard to really rate. I think it's too slow generally, but running is like a one of and if it's searchable for these cards, maybe they're gonna be sick. I don't know. If you can easily survive turn one, then you've got an instantly like combo starter right there. So if you just instant survive, pop off. I don't know. Especially considering like these Gear Gears have like special summoning effects anyway, like like when they summon, they special summon another Gear Gear anyway. You just special summon like this guy and get another one back. So you can get like three level fours, which would be kind of sick. Or at least two level fours. Charged up Heraldy. Again, another card that can be searched for by the field spell. Jimmy one monster. Special summon two Heraldy monsters from your deck in defense position. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from your next deck for the rest of the turn. After this card resolves, except Psychic Machine. Psychic or Machine. Monsters. You know, it's mate one, charge to your pants per turn. Tribute a monster, special summon two monsters from deck. So you get an exceeds from just one monster alone. Also, this is a search for all the Radic Beast monsters. So this card can now be used, fucking, or oh, this card I mean can now be used. This card can search, if he searched for, so it can be used. God, that, is, that opens a shit ton of room for stuff. One monster alone, you now have your exceeds combo into at least this boy. At least this dude. Well, that card's pretty sick, I think. Searchable spell that can just instantly get off your combo if you have just one monster on board. I can search for any of the any of these hunting beasts, any of them. Also, they don't have to have different names, so you can search two of this card with just this card, right? This card can then be searched both of these, and then you can use them to bring back a card to hand as well. All right. Well, I like this card. I think it's gonna be a a three of, right? You're just gonna run this as three of. This is 3 of field spell is 3 of you basically can have a combo on turn 1 regardless. That's insane consistency, actually. Now it just relies on how good are the Xyz monsters you're summoning, because the base of the deck seems insane. It just depends on how good the rest of the deck is. If you can have a really good, strong, like, opener with this deck, have an actual decent boss or whatever on board, then it'll be insane, because the actual, like, the consistency is insane. 3 of this and 3 of this is just guaranteed starter if you want it. It's super dependent though, right? Because we see these cards like, holy shit, we now have insane plays. But this card can only obviously get out Psychic and Machine monsters, and it depends on if we have decent Xyz monsters, because we're summoning these like cool-ass combo, and then we end on 
nothing, then it's just like, oh, okay. Consistency with no, like, end goal. Marauding, marauding Captain. Your opponent cannot target warrior monsters for attacks except this one. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon one or level 4 or lower monster from your hand. It's just, it's just a rank 3 card. Will we use it? Not sure. Probably not. Considering that we don't use, um, the little plane that we have right now that summons level... There it is. Um, we don't use Goblinburg. I'm not sure we'd want to use this guy. Because we're probably going to already have ways to summon rank 3s without using this guy. Oh yeah, having two more... <laughs> Having two Marotic Champion Captains on the board does mean your opponent cannot attack you, but those kind of loops aren't that good. Your opponent will just remove your card, so. They do exist though, we already have them in Dueling, so we used to have it with, um, for Hire a while ago. If the effect of a Wind-Up Monster is activated, except Wind-Up Magician, you can special summon one level 4 or lower Wind-Up Monster from your deck in face-up defense position. This effect can only be used once while this card is face-up on the field. Oh look, Fire Attribute! Please don't, don't give them ideas. <laughs> Look at that rabbit is there. Stop. Stop. Yeah, I don't know. This card seems really good, but it's really dependent on special summoning stuff, right? Because this card you can summon, right? But you have to have a monster to go with it, or it doesn't really do anything. But if you can use this as part of, like, a little combo, then you get another exceed monster out. It could be insane. But obviously it needs a special summon to go with it, or something. Special summon with shark. Is shark coming? Oh, shark's coming up, so that's the combo with it. Alright, so wait till shark for this card. So obviously this card will probably go with whatever this is. Heretic Beast of Leo. During the end phase of this of the turn this card was normal summon, destroy this card. When this card is sent to the graveyard, add one Heretic Beast monster from your deck to your hand, except Heretic Leo. When this card is sent to the- oh, it's just when it's sent to the graveyard, not when destroyed. When this card is sent to the graveyard, oh. That includes when sent from- so this card doesn't say when sent from field to grave, it says when sent to the grave. So this card includes when getting detached, right? As well? Yep, yeah. So this card actually works when getting detached. So it works with the field spell, it works when getting detached. Insane, you get a search. My god, the cons okay, so like, the deck was already insanely consistent already, so this just makes it even more consistent. With Okay, we get it, Konami, we have a consistent deck. Does it have any exceed monsters to make it good though? <laughs> Can we actually make a deck that doesn't suck using all these like, insane consistency shit? Obviously an insane card. It works with fucking everything in the deck. The deck's already consistent, so now it's insanely more, and it's consistent as well. Why not? Alright. Diamond Direwolf. Rank 4. Once per turn, you can attach one material from this card, then target one beast, beast warrior, a winged beast type monster you control, and one other card in the field, destroy them. Wait, is that actually a removal in exceed monsters? Do we, do we have one now? It can target itself, then target something it, the opponent controls and remove it that way too. Yeah, it can target itself, so it's always going to be a guaranteed at least one removal if you want it. Which makes it a really good card, so you can use this in literally any rank 4 deck as just a guaranteed removal if you need a level 4 removal, because it can target itself. But obviously it's going to have better synergy with a deck where you can remove other stuff instead of itself. I think you'll be seeing a lot of this card, purely because it is just a removal if you need a removal. Generic is a removal if you need removal. If you have a rank 4 deck that can fit this card, you'll probably just stick it in there. Because I'd honestly, if you gave me the choice of Utopia or this, I'd use this card a hundred like hundred times out of a hundred. I, I I think Utopia is just garbage right now. Utopia does literally nothing. You summon it, it gets removed. Sick. At least this card can be used as a removal source. Not sure what I'm not sure what deck specifically want to use this in. You can use it in any any deck in particular, but obviously it's better for like Blackwing or something, I don't know. There's no other, like, Beast Warrior cards we got in here, right, outside of, like, these guys, but these cards lock you into, um, Psychic anyway, so it doesn't really matter for them. I guess you could use it still in that deck anyway, you just don't use it when using the Field Spell part of it, use it otherwise. Number 50. Black Ship of Corn. Of Corn, huh? Two level 4 monsters. Once per turn, you can attach one Exceeds material from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card. Send it to the graveyard, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. This card cannot attack until you activate this effect. Yeah, so it's not all that exciting, because most monsters, obviously, most boss, boss monsters will have more than 2100 attack. So it's like, only Witchcraft is the only monster I can think of off the top of my head that has, like, a low effect stat. A lower monster attack stat. Buff it with Aroma Garden. Oh, it is a plant! Okay! Use it in Aroma Mage, there you go. Kanga can reduce attack, and this card can buff the get buffed by the field spell. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a huge. Using a Rome Mage, that's about it. No huge, no actual reason to use this card really. 
Wind up Zen Mines. If this, this is two level three monsters. If this face up card on the field will be destroyed, you can detach one material from this card instead. Okay, has a little bit of protection. Once per turn during the end phase, if this effect was used this turn, target one card on the field, destroy it. So you summon this card, and it's just really annoying for your opponents to remove. If they try to remove it, there's likely they're going to get one of their own cards removed. Oh, it's, it's first effect isn't once per turn, right? Since the card can be protected twice from destruction, but only once per turn it can pop. Alright, I like it. Uh, not sure how much I like it though, because it's a very, very slow kind of removal, but Wind Up seems to be a very slow kind of deck anyway. Wind Up Shark. When a wind up monster is normal or special summoned to your side of the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Already insane. Once per turn, you activate one of these effects. Increase this card's level by one until the end phase. Reduce this card's level by one to the end phase. So it works with level four or level three wind ups. Yeah, not, not much to say about this card, it's insane. You use this with your boy down here. Where is he? This guy? There you go, there's two. There's a, three cards you can have right there. Three monsters instantly for an exceed summon. Works with all the other wind ups too. Yeah, just an insane card. This is going to be three of in every wind-up deck. Oh <laughs> look, water, stop! Stop it encouraging invokes! We've got water, fire, and earth. No, it's actually going to be invoked. It's actually going to be invoked. You know, oh, why? Oh, you meme it, but it's actually going to be true. Hey, wind-ups seem to be lacking on an actual decent boss monster. Win their XCs archetype. How do we, how do we fix this issue? I know, let's just play fucking Invocation. <laughs> Not excited for wind-ups because they seem like an Invoke deck. Livier, Liv the Sea Dragon. Once per turn you attach one material from this card, then target one banished level 4 or lower monster, special summon that target to your field. Yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't, not a huge fan of this card, it seems like a combo extenders, there's probably going to be some deck you can break it with, but in terms of g generic play, you're not going to use it, so just like, specific decks that like to banish stuff can use it. Otherwise, it's not all that exciting. I'm trying to think, was there anything in here that combos with it in particular? I think this beast banished, I think these guys banished themselves, so there's that. We might even have a card in the game that already goes combo super well, this that I'm just not thinking of. Seems alright. It's probably not going to be all that useful in terms of just like a generic though, because obviously not all decks banish. You're not going to run this as a counter to Karma card, alright? You're not doing that. That's not happening. Alright, now this is a card. Gear Gear Giant X. This is why I believe they banned, uh, they preemptively banned Cyberstein, I think. I'm pretty sure this is the Searcher. Once per turn, you can attach one Exceeds material from this card, add one level 4 lower machine type from deck or graveyard to your hand. So this would search Cyberstein if you wanted it, right? <laughs> so I'm pretty sure this is why Cyberstein was banned, if you're wondering. If this card leaves the field, you can target one level 3 or lower Gigan monster in your graveyard to summon that target. So has a nice little float effect as well. So this is your generic search for whatever Gigi you want. And normally would search Cyberstein, but yeah, Cyberstein's banned now, so you can't be doing that anymore. This is generic, and it searches for any machine, so if there's any machine deck in the game that wants a searcher, this can be used for it, not just Gear Gear. I mean, is it, obviously any search is good, it's gonna be, an, it's gonna be useful carding Gear Gear. Like, any search is good. I'm pretty sure... I had to go over some of the old um, Gear Gear effects, but a lot of these can just summon, right? Like this card can just summon itself when it's in hand, if you can control Gear Gear. So you use this, search for something, and just combo off again. Could be sick. Yeah, just generic searches and has a little float effect as a bonus, it's kinda nice. Hey big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.